Welcome to Springfield Park Elementary School. This is uh, our fourth grade class, math class. I'm Mr. Detropany. Um, we are getting ready to do some geometry karate and learn some geometry concepts. So let's begin. All right, guys, we talked about this yesterday. This is our quick review. Let's practice our geometry karate right now. Everybody stand up. All right, get yourselves ready to go. Okay. Now, you guys know our seven choices, right? I'm going to call them out. I'm going to see if you guys remember. Don't forget to show me what you got. I'll kind of take a peek to see if everything looks right. Are you ready? Yeah. Shall I go over the seven words real quick to make sure we remember them? Yeah. No, yes. Yeah. All right, well, remember line segment, line, ray, parallel lines, perpendicular line, intersecting line. And the other one is the big one at the beginning. What is it? The point. The point. All right, here we go. Ready? Geometry karate. Point! Yeah. Yeah. All right, good. Ready? Geometry, karate, line segment! Yeah. All right, pretty good. Did you guys have both your fists out like that for the two end points? Very good. Okay, let's try another one. Ready? All right. Geometry, karate, ray! Yeah. All right, pointing with one hand. End point with the other. Oh my, make sure that's good and straight because it's got to be a straight one for a ray, right? Okay. All right, ready? Let's see, I'm trying to think which ones we haven't done yet. Okay, I got one. Uh, I think that's one we haven't done, but let's see. We'll try it again. If not, then it's just a review. Ready? Geometry, karate, line segment. Yeah. Yeah. We've done this. Oh, we did it already. Okay, well, let's do I got one that we can do next. All right, thank you, boys and girls. Down we go. Here we go. Geometry, karate, parallel lines. Yeah. All right, both pointing straight up, right? Will they ever touch? On and on forever in both directions, never touching, right? Okay, down we go. Thank you, boys and girls. A couple of tough ones. Ready? Geometry, karate, intersecting lines. Yeah. All right, oops. Want to make it like that? I had an end point. You want them like that? Very good. Lines crossing. What is that thing called in the middle? We learned about it yesterday. It starts with a V. Say it again. A vertex. That's right. That's where those two lines cross. Vertices. Okay. Down we go. I'm going to do one more for us right now. All right. Here we go. Geometry karate. Perpendicular lines. Yeah. All right. Good. I guess I could maybe. That looks good. Very good. Do you guys have the right angle for that? Okay, that's what we're looking for, right angle. Make sure your line going on and on in each direction, both ways. Very nicely done. Boys and girls, good job. All right, have a seat. Now, that was a review for us. Very good job. What we want to do today is we want to learn a little bit about some of our geometry shapes that we need to know here in fourth grade. Now, shapes are pretty easy. You guys have learned them since kindergarten, right? Um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to practice a couple super simple ones, but there are some definitions that you need to know for some of the shapes that you may not have known from kindergarten and first grade and stuff like that. So you have on your desk what we call a geo board, and there's some little pegs on here, and you have your rubber bands with them too. Now we've already discussed a little bit about being safe with our rubber bands, so you know what to do with those, right guys? But quietly and carefully take them out, put your rubber bands on your desk, don't put them on the geo board quite yet. I'm going to have us make some shapes with our geo board, and I want to see how you do with that. The first couple are going to be super simple. Now, these are some words that we haven't really talked about. I'm going to get something up on my board here that I'm going to help to help us with while you guys are getting ready. Let me do this real quick. All right. And we're going to go ahead and let's see. Here it is. All right. I've got some things here that we're going to work on in a minute. I want us to start, first of all, with something super simple that I know everybody knows the answer to, to get you kind of practice with your rubber bands. Take a couple of rubber bands. You can do more than one if you want. You can do just one. But I want you to make a triangle on your geo board. Now, a triangle has how many sides, boys and girls? Everybody knows it. Three, three sides. OK, good. Um, three sides. Now, there are different kinds of triangles. Some triangles you can make that have the same length on either side. Some triangles have lengths that are different on either side. Some triangles, the angles are different. Some triangles, the angles are the same. And I want to explain that to you in just a little bit. 
everybody knows. Uh, let's see here. If I did a triangle, would that be a triangle, boys and girls? Yeah. You better believe that's a triangle, isn't it? It's got three sides. There are no curved lines anywhere. They have three angles, or it has three angles. Now, let me ask you this. This is important. Okay, good. I'm going to share that one in just a second. Good job, Lily. Um, taking a look, just one triangle, Miles. Just one triangle for me, thanks. Now, does this one have lines that are equal length? By looking at mine on the board, do you think that this line is the same length as this line? No, it's longer. That's what's called an irregular triangle or an irregular shape, where the lines are longer than other lines, or the lines are not all the same. Who has a triangle on their board where their rubber bands are all the same length? I saw a couple of you, and Lily was one of them. Good, it looks like I got Yasser over here. I'm gonna show you this one. This is what's called a regular triangle, because no matter how you turn, well, I think, well, well, maybe it's a little bit off, a little different, isn't it? It's close, but not quite. You wanna find one that has three lines that are exactly the same length. Well, that one's close too. If they were exactly the same, that is called a regular shape. And those are a little bit tougher to make. Could you have made a triangle that looks like this? Let me show you this. Go ahead and do this real quick. Would this be a triangle? Is that a triangle? Yeah. Three sides. It's not a regular shape. It's an irregular shape, but that's cool. That would be perfect. All right, triangles are easy. Take your rubber bands off. Let's try a new one. <clears throat> now, there's another kind of shape called a quadrilateral. Anybody have any idea what a quadrilateral is? You know, Aaron? Take a guess. Okay, perfect. It's a shape with four sides, period. Is a square a quadrilateral? Square has four sides. Is a rectangle a quadrilateral? Yes. Can you make a shape that's not a square or a rectangle that is a quadrilateral with your geo boards? Ready? Go. Let me see. Make a shape with four sides that's not a square or a rectangle. That's a good one. Hold on to it. You can use more than one rubber band if you want. You can use two or three or four. Hmm? Just make a shape. I'm going to, okay, I'm going to see, I'm going to show them, I'm going to just show them on just to give you guys an idea. Check it out. Amon's got a four-sided shape. It's not a rectangle. It's not a square. Because it's got this one, that, this one angle that's not a right angle, or actually two of them, which we've talked about with right angles a little bit. It's a quadrilateral. It has four sides that are straight sides, not a curved side. And the shape itself is closed. See if you guys can make one that looks a little different than that. What do we got? Oh, okay. Ooh, all right. That's what we're going to learn about in a couple of... Well, I wasn't planning on doing it today, but we're going to talk about this kind in a little bit. So I think this is a parallelogram, actually, which we're going to talk about with that. All right. Very good. Who has another one that's not a square that has four sides? All right. Here's another one. Check out Ivan's, boys and girls. Okay. This one is interesting. Four sides. One, two, three, four. It's a closed shape. All the lines are straight. So that makes it a quadrilateral and something that's also called a polygon, where there's three or more sides, the shape is closed, and no, no curved lines. They're all straight lines. Polygon's another word we're going to need to know. Juliana, you got one? Juliana's got another different one. Real quick, guys, take a peek. All right. So these are pretty easy, aren't they, guys? Super fast. Go ahead right now. I'm going to do a couple quick ones. Super fast, make a square. I want to see a square from you guys because I want you to think about the square. The square is one of those regular shapes. We just made some irregular ones. A square is a regular shape. Same sides, same length, and the angles in the middle are the same too. Make a, not a rectangle, but a square. Not a rectangle, but a square. Here's one. I'm on, it's got one. Doesn't matter what size, as long as the sides are the same length, and the angles, in this one, they're all right angles. But this is what's cool about a rectangle. Is it a quadrilateral, boys and girls? What do you think by what we just said? How many sides does it have? OK. Is it a regular shape? Is it regular or is it irregular? It's irregular because, check it out, these are longer than these, OK? 
However, it does have four right angles. That is something that's real important with a rectangle. The one thing that's different from a rectangle with a square is that all sides are equal on a square. It's a regular shape. A rectangle is a quadrilateral that's not regular, it's irregular. Go ahead and make one of those super fast, super easy. Good, cool, good, good. I just want to make sure you aren't making any squares. Don't make a square because a square is different from a rectangle. Okay, good, good. Okay, you guys got it. All right, erase your boards. Let's go to the next one. That was easy. All right, now the next one is going to be a pentagon. All right, I'm going to circle this word so you guys can see it. All right. Now we've done a three-sided shape, which is a triangle, a four-sided shape, excuse me, which is a quadrilateral square and rectangle. We're now going to do a what? Five-sided shape. Who knows of, let's see how I can think about the best way to ask this. There's a famous building that has five sides to it. Do you know what it is, Myla? What's it called? Well, I know we're doing Pentagon, but what's the name of the building? Is that right, boys and girls? Yeah. It is, that's correct. You're exactly right. The Pentagon up in Washington has five sides, and it's shaped just how we're gonna try to make our shapes with our geo boards right now. I want you to take your rubber bands. I want you to show me any shape that you can make that does not have a curved line, because that's important for having a polygon. That is a closed shape with five sides. Ready, go. What do we have here? Okay, one, two, three, four, five, good. Called a pentagon. One, two, three, four, five, very good. This one's kind of cool. It's not a regular shape because the lines are all the same. Well, they aren't quite the same length. This one's longer, so this is definitely not a regular pentagon. It's an irregular pentagon, but there are five sides, so it is a pentagon. There's a good one. Five sides, good, good. Who's got a crazy one that looks kind of crazy that doesn't even really look like a, oh, careful, count all those. We're gonna do that in a second. Here's a crazy one. It's not really any shape. It doesn't look like a house or anything. One, two, three, four, five. That one works, very good. Can anybody make, ooh, I think I might see one. Can anybody make a regular pentagon? A pentagon that has equal lengths on their sides? and their uh, angles are also the same. Let's see. Was anybody able to make a regular pentagon? Ooh, let's see, is this close? This is so close. This is super close. I think it's gonna be kind of tough with our geo boards, but this one is really close to a regular pentagon. That one's close too. Turn it and see if each time you turn it, is it an exact pentagon, almost, but not quite. I think it's hard with our geo boards to make them. Guess where we're going? Hexagon. We're gonna go to the hexagon next. Let's see here, here we go. All right, I'm gonna circle the hexagon so you can see that. Now, I like the word hexagon, and it's real easy to remember how many sides are on a hexagon. Because, what letter is in a hexagon that is different from others, or from the other, no, uh, the other shapes that we have? What's a letter that can tell you how many sides are in this? Anybody got it? What do you think? The letter X. If there's six sides, hexagon has the letter X. The number six also has the letter X. That's an easy way to remember it. Go ahead right now, make any shape you can with six sides this time. Now it's gonna get a little trickier. You can use six rubber bands if you want. You can only use one rubber band if you want. And that's gonna be a challenge I'm gonna give you in a minute too. Ooh. That's a pretty good one. It's not quite a regular one, but it's close, right? Here's Connor's, it's pretty good. It's not a regular one, but it does have six sides. Very good. Remember, you don't have to make it what's called symmetrical either. You can make it crazy. Ooh, there's, that's an interesting one. This one. Exactly. Check that one out. That's almost a regular shape. When you turn it this way, it looks a little different, right? But nonetheless, one, two, three, four, five, six. What's it called, Reese? It's called a hexagon. Very good. Everybody check them out. Check with your partners to see if they got six sides real quick. That's a good one too. Good crazy one. Check it out super fast. Make sure you got six sides. Count them up. All right. Hex, hexagon, hexagon. Don't forget the X hint for hexagon. All right, um, we've gotten these four so far. Let's go ahead and go to the next one here. What do you think the heptagon is? What do you think is the heptagon, Chrissy? Seven. 
Seven sides. Ready? Give it a shot. See how you can do. Double check. Count them all. Count it. Make sure. All right, I'm going to give you guys a challenge for this one. I want you, oh, here's a cool one. Elise has a, an interesting one. This is a symmetrical one where you can fold it over and they would be the same if you fold it over in the middle. Um, I was going to try to give you guys a challenge to see if you can do a seven-sided shape with one rubber band. Try that. Try that. Try a seven-sided shape with one rubber band. All right. Yes, sir. Let's see what you got. I got it. One, two, three, four, five. Easy. Super easy. Good one. Is there any way we can make a regular seven-sided shape? That's a tough one. I did it. Oh, wait. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It is, isn't it? Almost a regular shape, isn't it? Almost, but not quite. But still pretty good. Here's Madison's. Madison used more than one rubber band, but that's a good one. Seven sides. All right. Ooh. What you have, Benny? Let's see. This looks pretty cool. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Very nice with one rubber band. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. You guys are getting the hang of those. You can make any seven sided shape. You can use more than one rubber band or one rubber band, and you can do the same thing. Okay. I'm going to now, boys and girls, I'm not going to remind you about these ones. I'm not going to remind you how many sides are on each. Even though these are in order, that gives you a little bit of a hint. I'm going to tell you one of the shapes. I want you to make it, and I want you to get the correct sides. I'm going to come around and see if you're right. I'm not going to tell you how many sides. I want to see if you can get it. Ready? I'm going to do a super easy one first. If you were listening, it'll be super easy. Ready? You don't know which one it is yet, so hold on. Make a hexagon. Go. Super easy. Hexagon. If you, can't look, if you don't need to look up there and count where it is on the list, that's even better. If you know it by heart, or know it by the hint that I gave you, that's even better. If you got one, raise your hand. Uh-oh, Zachary in the back. All right, I'm coming around. I'll tell you how many sides it is in just a second. That's correct, very good. One, two, three. That's correct, good. Shh, one, two. Oh, double check that one. Double check it, double check it. That's good. That was it. All right, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Be careful. All right. Okay, good. He's changing that line to get one extra one. One, two, three, four. Five. Good. Okay, how many do you have, Sarah? How many lines is it? Six. Six lines. That's a hexagon, boys and girls. Remember the X. The X gives you the hint. Six hex. Six sides, hexagon. Very good. If I said triangle, would you be able to do it really easy? Of course, you know that one. Hexagon's one you just learned today, so it makes it a little bit trickier. Thanks for coming to Springfield Park to watch our geometry lesson here in fourth grade math.